here. So this one is in relation to the FOB destination, FOB shipping point, and the freight collect, freight prepaid. So as a recap, diba? if we're talking about FOB shipping point, so the transfer of ownership will happen upon shipment or at the shipping point. So if the or the shipping point is the airport, so once the airplane departs or nakarga na siya dito sa airplane, yan ay larga na ang airplane, so automatic the ownership will pass on to the buyer na. If it is FOB destination, it means that only when the items arrived at the point of destination, uh, more specifically in the area of the buyer, so, I have pa ma-transfer ang ownership. So, balik ta. Kung FOB shipping points siya, so, samtang nagbiyahin na ang item, the owner of the goods is the buyer na. Or ang buyer na ang mahimong owner sa goods. But if FOB destination siya, samtang naglayag pa ang item, gi, gi, ano pa siya, gi ship pa siya, the owner for that is still the seller or the seller is still the owner of the item because ma-transfer naman ang ownership pag maabot na sa destination. So, muna siya sa FOB, destination and shipping point. And the general rule again is whoever owns the items in transit, kung kinsa ang tag-iya sa goods in transit should be the one to pay for the freight. Okay? So, kung should pay, so meaning siya dapat ang mu bayad. And kung siya ang mu bayad, siya po ang mu record sa freight charge. Okay? Record the freight. So, how do you know pag siya ang nag-record sa freight? So, meaning, magsulat siya sa books niya o freight in or freight out. Depende kung siya ang buyer or siya ang seller. Kung siya ang buyer, ang account title should be freight in. If you are the seller, so that should be freight out. Okay? Since this is uh, accounts receivable accounting, diba, na maligya man taani kay accounts receivable man, so we are recording on the side of the seller. Okay? Again, since this is accounts receivable uh, accounting, so we are recording on the side of the seller. Kasi ba mag-record man tag accounts receivable, credit, sales. So, what will be the entry? So, we have the situation there in your book. Affectionate company sold merchandise on account for 500,000. The terms are 3 over 10 and 30. So, what do we mean by 3 over 10 and 30? So, it means that when we are, are since we're the seller, man, ane, so our customers can avail of 3% discount if the customer will pay within 10 days. Okay, 10 days from the date of purchase. If the limo avails a discount, then the entire amount should be paid within 30 days. So, that is what we mean by the N slash 30. Then the related freight charge amounted to 10,000 pesos. The account was collected within the discount period. So general scenario, there is a discount because the amount or the account was collected within the discount period. So again, we will be recording on the side of the seller because this is accounts receivable accounting. So therefore, kita na maligya. So, balik ta, whoever is the owner while in transit should pay for the freight and therefore should record the freight. However, there are times na even if the seller should be the one to pay for the freight, di ba? Kung siya gani ang tag -iya while in transit, pero ang natilingan sa pretty in actual kay ang buyer. Okay? So, Ang responsibility na as a seller, pero ang actual nga pagbayad, gibuhat or gihimo ni buyer. So, na ay uh, counting nga uh, adjustment for that. 
since katung actual nga nibayad og ang person nga responsible for the freight kay dili parihas. Okay, so how are we going to treat that? So, let's look at the first scenario. FOB destination, then freight collect. So, FOB destination, who is the owner of the goods while in transit? If it's FOB destination, who is the owner of the goods while in transit? If that's FOB destination, Seller. Okay, so this is the seller. seller. Okay, if it is a freight collect, who actually paid? Who actually paid for the freight? Buyer. Okay, buyer. that's the buyer. So, wala sila nagtunong, di ba? Ang dapat unta ni bayad, dili siya mao ang actual nga ni bayad. So, what would be the entry on the side of the seller? So, remember, we're recording sa side sa seller. So, you recognize the sales. So, debit accounts receivable, 500, this one, and credit sales, 500,000. Since si seller, kita, di ba, we're recording on the side of the seller. Since si seller man ang dapat nga nagbayad sa pliti, di ba, should pay the freight. So, therefore, siya ang mag-record sa freight. So, on saan gani pag-record ni seller sa freight, so mag-recognize siya og freight out. So, that's why nag-debit og freight out and na credit nga allowance for freight charge then we will have adjustment for the allowance for freight charge once we have collected the account so this the next entry is for the collection so you credit accounts receivable because we have collected the 500,000 since na sud man siya sa discount period so we need to compute the three percent of the account so that's five hundred thousand times three percent so that's fifteen thousand so debit sales discount this one first sales discount fifteen thousand and we need to close the allowance for freight charge so to close so debit allowance for freight charge 10,000. And ang balancing figure, meaning ang salin, so 500 minus 15 minus 10. So, 500 minus 15 minus 10 is 475. So, this is the amount that we're going to receive. 475,000. Okay? So, therefore, upon collection, we should close the existing allowance for freight charge and the remaining amount the balancing figure katong balance para maparehas sila nga puro 500,000 that would be the cash that we will be collecting okay next one so the next scenario is FOB destination then freight prepaid so this time okay so let's check who is the owner of the goods while in transit so this is seller Right? And how about freight prepaid? Who actually paid for the freight? Seller. seller. That would be the seller. seller. So, if they are the same, seller. okay, if they are the same, there's no problem. Okay? Wala siya problem. Wala po tayo allowance for freight charge. So, what would be the entry? So, just simply debit accounts receivable, credit sales. So, sila may paris. Then, since si seller man ang uh, responsible for the freight regardless kung kinsay ni bayad so that would be freight out and then since siya man po ni bayad so ang actual nga nitunol sa cash kay si seller so mag credit ka og cash next upon collection it would be simpler this time because we will simply close the accounts receivable and then compute the sales discounts we have computed this earlier that's five hundred thousand times three percent so that's fifteen thousand and the balancing figure would be our cash collection of four hundred eighty five thousand so wala siya problema kung ang owner sa goods kani siya is the one who actually paid for the freight kaya wala na may kinahanglan pang i-reimburse or i-balance let's go to the third scenario so fob shipping point and freight collect so who is the owner of the goods while in transit if it is fob shipping point buyer. that's the buyer buyer and how about Freight collect who actually paid for the freight? 
Buyer. 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 Buyer Since they are the same, there will be no problem. Okay, so talawa, mahimo na siyang simple ang entry. Remember, shipping point man siya, so buyer. And then, kinsa gani atong gi record on behalf? Diba, we're recording on behalf of the seller. Diba? So, therefore, dili ka makakita og freight out or freight in nga account sa side ni seller. Nga no gani, diba? Kung kinsa ang tag sa goods while in transit, siya ang na responsibility for the freight. Siya ang mag-record sa freight. So, kung buyer siya, freight in. Kung seller siya, freight out. Since ang tag sa goods kay ang buyer, siya ang responsible for the freight, siya ang mag-record sa word nga freight in. So, si seller, which is ang ato ang boss ani, atong amo or kita ba ani, kita ang seller, dili na tamo record o word nga na ay freight. Okay? Kay dili man kita ang tag iya dili po kita ang na responsibility for the freight. So, that's why wala tayo makita diri nga freight out or freight in. Okay? So, simply record the sales, 500,000 and credit sales, 500,000. Kung sa books pa na ni buyer, siya ang mag-debit o freight in and mag-credit siya o cash kay freight collect man. Upon collection, so just simply credit the accounts receivable, then compute the discount, which is 3% of 500,000. The balancing figure is 485,000. Okay? So, masayun siya pag parihas. Next is FOB shipping point. The owner here is the buyer. The freight prepaid, the owner is the seller. So, di sila parihas. So, what now would be the entry? So, since ang recording na to again is on the part of the seller, so, di lita mag-expect nga na ay freight nga entry diri because ang tag iya ang nanag iya sa goods kay ang buyer man so wala tayong makita gyud nga freight ani nga account title so how do we record this one so since we paid in advance for the freight diba si seller man so kita man si seller ani so that's why na i credit to cash nga 10,000 so this represents the freight that we have paid para sa gunang na maligya ta o goods nga itahay gipadala na to sa Manila pero dili mo dawat kintahay ang carrier dili or ang cargo forwarder di siya mo dawat nga dili na to bayaran daan ang pliti so magbayad da daan sa pliti pero gipareimburse na to ni buyer so ini tunol sa bayad sa to ni buyer giapilan na nato og pliti so ang na responsibility gihapon adto is si buyer with regards to the pliti pero kita ray ni accommodate gibayaran sa nato in behalf niya so that's why na i credit sa cash because si buyer man ta sa um, delivery service man siya or sa cargo forwarder and that will be added to the accounts receivable nato. So tilingon nato ang 500,000 plus tong 10,000 nga atong gibayad in behalf sa buyer. So tilingon gihapon nato si buyer. I-add on lang nato sa iyahang byronon. Upon collection, of course we need to close the 510,000. Dili pud pwede nga 500,000 atong ibutang kay unsa man tong 10,000 nga atong tang tilingon. So credit 510,000, the sales discount would be the same. It will not be based ha dili siya i-base sa 510 because the 510 includes the freight and wala may discount for the freight. Okay? Ang discount lang is sa 500,000. So, this is 500,000 gihapon times 3%. And the balancing figure would be 495, which is equivalent to the 485. Diba? 485 man ang salin dapat sa 500 plus the 10,000 nga gipa-reimburse gipa na ito nga freight. So, muna siya ang 495,000. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!